a, a good friend of mine, a freelancer, I won't say her name, but <laughs> she was there. After I tweeted the picture, I get this email from this particular photographer and it says, Spink, you're freaking killing me. You know, in, in, in a way she was, she was saying, good job, glad you nailed it, so. Uh, all the media was parked up on Clifton Road. Not only do you have all the local affiliates of Atlanta, but you have national media. You have international media. So the entire span of Clifton Road was just jam-packed. The only shots that they were going to have of this ambulance and um, uh, caravan coming down to the hospital was going to be down Clifton Road and making a turn on this street and that's all you were going to see. They would never see the patient come out of the ambulance whatsoever. That was something that only the helicopters had seen over the weekend. Going into the campus I had to keep a low profile. That's really hard to do as a photographer because I'm carrying a large bag over this shoulder and I'm carrying two large uh, cameras. Knowing this, I went through the campus on a very low profile, kind of incognito, and went back into the middle of the campus to where I could find a kind of a quiet place to sit around for a while. I was uh, being fed updates by my editor of the progression of the ambulance leaving Dobbins Air Reserve Base all the way to Emory University. I saw through the bottom of the ambulance some, some boots hit the ground, and then I saw another set of boots hit the ground. As the figures began to move from the rear of the ambulance and, and, and came into my view in that short little area there, so I uh, immediately mashed my, my focus button on the camera, and then I literally just hammered the motor drive, which is a 10 frame a second motor drive on the EOS 1DX. Um, just hammered that whole motor drive sequence all the way through. It, it probably took them about two seconds to three seconds to clear that area right there. Seeing is believing, and that's what we do as photographers. We let people see what happens. It's one thing to hear about it uh, from a second, third source, but when you see it, you believe it. And that in itself is historic. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's important, you know, it's one thing to look at this from all from a medical standpoint point of view and a historic point of view, but, uh, you know, we also have to keep in mind that uh, these two individuals are, are heroes in themselves, putting themselves in harm's way, going over there to treat this disease and, and the population there. And, uh, you know, both of them have said, I believe, you know, I'll go back and do it again. Um, they deserve our prayers for their healing because it's those kinds of people that can make a huge difference in our world.